All right, man, we back. Goodfellas Sports TV. And y'all boy, Ryan, Ryan Hollins, is back. He was on the what? Scoop B podcast. I'll put the article link in the description so you can check it out. And he says that uh, LeBron James is responsible for uh, Kyrie's bad leadership quality. So let's talk about it. Hit that subscribe button, bell icon button, share the video. And, um, you know, it's a, you know he, he basically just said that um, LeBron and Kyrie butted heads a lot. And we, we didn't see that on the... Uh, we didn't see that on like film, like when they think they was in the finals or in the game, and it's a meme of LeBron yelling at Kyrie and Kyrie looking like, you know what I'm saying? I mean, I mean, I ain't never seen LeBron as a great leader anyway. You know what I'm saying? You know, he got a lot of great qualities. You know, one of the top three or four or five best basketball players in my opinion that ever played. He can handle the rock. He can get to the rim. He can finish. He can dunk. He can shoot it. In his youthful years, he can, uh, you know, he could defend. I mean, he used to defend the shit out of Derrick Rose, you know. Um, he just shut Derrick Rose down in the playoffs, man. So, LeBron pretty much could do it all. And people probably supposed to act like him, Jordan, Kareem, Wilt, Hakeem, Duncan, supposed to be perfect. And you got to have holes in your armor. Even Superman had, you know, gaping holes. Uh, and he had weaknesses. And to me, one of the weaknesses for LeBron was leadership, bro, and, 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 and just listening a lot of the times. A lot of times he didn't listen to coaches. He got coaches fired when they tried to do something different. You know, there's David Black. You know, he got uh, Luke Walton fired because he took the ball out of his hand and let try to let Ingram and Lonzo, you know, be the point and set LeBron up. LeBron didn't like that. Had all them traded. Had Luke put out. So his leadership qualities are definitely lacking. It, it ain't a, he ain't one of the best leaders I've ever seen. So I can see that. And some of the, th some of the reasons how he, how he handled Kyrie. I can believe they butted heads. And he, he said Kyrie a cool dude and, you know, down to earth. And, you know, basically he liked to live outside the box. And he comfortable in his own skin. But he sounded like LeBron ruined him. You know, in the power struggle of LeBron, LeBron had put him under his wing. And that's why Kyrie left. You know, Kyrie left because he was tired of LeBron's shit. You know, he didn't want to defend. He wanted to handle the ball, ball all the time. And when he left, LeBron was like, I was ready to get the keys over. To, I was ready to get the keys to Kyrie. No, he wasn't ready to get the keys to Kyrie. We ain't stupid. You wouldn't even want to get the keys to, to to Brandon Ingram. And look at Brandon Ingram when he left, he flourished. But, um, you know, some of the bad qualities that he, he could have picked up on, you know, who knows? He didn't really elaborate on it, but he did say they bumped his a lot. He, when we, in, in, you know, maybe, you know, LeBron sunned him. Maybe it sounded like it was a Shaq Kobe situation. Because people don't know, you know, people blame Kobe for, for how the Shaq and Kobe era ended. But people don't know Shaquille O'Neal handled that the wrong way. You know, you know he was trying to uh, butt break Kobe in the locker room and show everybody he was just a little boy. And they got and little Kobe didn't back down. And they came to blows. Obviously, we know how Shaq handled his business, but he posed to you seven foot and three hundred fucking pounds. But if you go back in history, this is what they won't tell you with Shaq and Kobe. I mean, with Shaq, Shaq did Penny the same way. He was smacking little Penny off the couch and shoe commercials. He was jealous of Penny Hardaway. Shaq is a big sensitive ass motherfucker. So Shaq didn't have the best leadership qualities neither. Because he he soured the relationship with Penny over jealousy. And he soured the relationship with Kobe early over jealousy. And he, and he it's proven that he can never win a championship or, or or get to a championship without a without a two guard or without another big player. Dwayne, Kobe, Penny. Couldn't do it. You know, but Kyrie just straight up and left, and he was trying to talk to Kyrie before, I mean, LeBron was trying to talk to him before he left, and, you know, he didn't get to talk to him, and Dan Gilbert just shipped him out, and he was tired of LeBron, so, you know, things that LeBron could have did, you know, it's probably just try to sun him, you know, tell him this is my team, and you need to fall in line, and this, that, and the third, let's not forget, you know, Kyrie called LeBron and apologized when he was in Boston about, you know, how, you know, how he really uh, responded to some of the things that LeBron tried to implement as a leader in Cleveland and basically said I was young and dumb. But really, at the end of the day, man, you know, if everybody, what your parents used to say, if everybody jump off a bridge, you're going to jump too. You know what I'm saying? You say in school, everybody else was throwing, you know, food in the cafeteria. And what Kyrie is, you're smart enough to know, and he's a very, very bright dude, even though he thinks the world is flat. But you're smart enough to know what's right and what's wrong. You know what I'm saying? If LeBron did something to you that you didn't like as a leader or he sunned you as a leader or you didn't think he responded or did his job as a leader, 
why would you take those same qualities to Boston? Why would you take those same qualities to New Jersey? You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, in Jersey, you know, and maybe in Boston too, it seemed like, oh, we don't have enough on the team and we need some other guys. That's something that LeBron would do. Trade the whole team and, you know, say they ain't good enough. I ain't got no help. Well, I did my part. You you see my stat line? I did my part. That sound like LeBron shit. But we don't have enough help in New Jersey in Brooklyn and this, that, and the third. You know what's right and what's wrong. And you know if you if you felt a certain type of way how LeBron led the team, why would you go to Boston and lead that type of way? So I'm not I'm not giving that no credence. You know, no I'm not breathing no life into that scenario. You he a twenty what, twenty five, twenty six, twenty seven year old dude. You know right from wrong. You know the way LeBron treated you and treated the rest of the Cavaliers, you didn't want to be treated that way. And look here, he is like baby Brian. You know, they got Kenny Atkinson fired or let go in Brooklyn. He was a good coach. You know what I'm saying? He always tried, he already trying to move and trade players too, just like LeBron. You know, LeBron, if you ain't cut it or, you know, he get you up out of there. You know, look at Cleveland, you know, he got motherfuckers up out of there. Andrew Wiggins didn't even have a chance to prove himself. He ain't shit. Get him up out of here. <laughs> you know, David Black, he ain't shit. Get him up out of here. Bring in Tyron Lue where I can control the huddle. You know, you go to you go to uh, uh you go to uh LA. Got rid of the whole team. Got rid of Luke Luke uh Luke Walton. <laughs> Got rid of uh what's the other dude name? Ingram, Lonzo, uh Josh, uh Josh Hart. He got rid of the whole team. Get up out of here. AD on the way. Got rid of the whole team. So Kyrie trying to be LeBron, but Ryan Holland's probably right. He's seen it. He's seen it. He seen how LeBron, LeBron ain't no leader, bro. Like, real talk, he ain't no leader. But he got power, though. Wherever he go, he can control the whole team. It was up to him. He'd probably get the owner to sell the team if he threatened to leave. And, you know, in my opinion, is it is what it is. Kyrie know right from wrong, straight up and down. And if he don't know right from wrong, I don't know what to tell him. But everything that, you know, he learned in Cleveland, you can see it manifest in Boston and come to light in Brooklyn. With, with him saying all this stuff and stuff in the media, he learned that from Brian probably. You know, he, he, Ryan was probably right on this one. He probably right on this one. But to me, I ain't no passes to no grown man. And this is what happens when you, you know, when you don't go to college, you don't, you know, you don't learn in college. It, I, it, I agree with some people saying some of these dudes need to go to college for two years to, for the maturity aspect of it. But at 18, if I got to move out my mom and my daddy house and I post and I can go to the army, why can't I go to the NBA? Why can't I buy a drink? You know, why can't, why can't I do things? If I'm an adult at 18, then should extend the, extend the adult years. You know, extend it to 20, where you give college to, to to high school graduates for two years for free until they mature. 18 years, you know, may not be enough, but for Kyrie, you know, he just, he, he is lost. He is lost, and you probably could blame that on LeBron. You could probably blame it on his father. You can probably blame it on the system. He didn't play like two games at Duke. So, you know, the leadership ain't been strong with him to, be, to begin with. Because if you remember, him and Deion Waiters was bumping head in, in Cleveland before LeBron got there. And then LeBron had Deion Waiters move, trade him. So people forget that. And they, they was a talented backcourt. Just ain't nothing come of it. Because they was too busy fighting. So Kyrie, way before LeBron got there, Kyrie had leadership issues. You know, and maybe that's, you know, he loses his mother early on. And, um, you know, don't know what he was like in high school. But don't know what he was like in his short tenure at Duke. But in Cleveland early on, you could tell that, that they lack maturity and leadership. You know, fighting for the ball, him and Deion and all that shit. And then he was trying to fight LeBron. If LeBron never came back. He never probably would have got a ring. Definitely wouldn't have got a ring. So, hey, it is what it is. Let me know what you guys think. I'll put the article link in the description. Um, Ryan Holland saying this. And this is probably factual. This is something that he actually seen on a day-to-day -day basis in Cleveland. But don't forget to check out our NBA Talk playlist. For more videos like this, we got a live stream of players for NBA, NBA 101. Uh, don't forget, we on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. You can reach out anytime. If you have a business question, inquiry, response, if you request or just want to chop it up, 
Twitter's the fastest way, then Instagram and Facebook, all those links in the description. We got a Facebook group as well. That link's there. Want to make a donation? If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. Do so. Share the video. Um, other than that, man, cash our PayPal description. One time for one time. Let me know what you think. We done.